Superman writer Joshua Williamson recently shared one of the hard lessons he's learned at DC Comics, and that's pissing people off apparently sells comics. If you make people angry, you sell more comics. At least that's what he's claiming. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. With that out of the way, let's get into this here. I wrote this over at thatparkplace.com. In an interview with Popverse, William said this, Sometimes people get really angry and they spend money, which is the saddest thing. But it's been the hard lesson that I've learned from DC. It's that when people are happy, they spend less. It sucks, but it is a pattern that I've seen in my time at DC. He added, I don't want to make anybody mad. The thing is, is that I would want to say, first and foremost, trust me, it's not just about, oh, I want to piss people off. That's not what you're doing at all. Well, it sounds like you are. Because if the hard lesson you learned is that when people are happy, they spend less, and you want to get people angry to sell mo <laughs> to spend money, it does indeed seem like you want to piss people off so you would make them spend money. I mean, that's what you just said. And then you're trying to say you didn't say that. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. He then goes on and tries to like take it off to a different direction where he's talking about conflict within the comics and telling stories within the comics rather than uh, talking about people's spending habits and, and their emotional state on when and how they spend. Uh, so he went on and said this. What you want to do is you want to establish some kind of trust first and then say, listen, this is going to be a roller coaster ride. It's going to be crazy at times. There's going to be some ups and downs and it's going to be nuts. But trust me, to come on this ride with me. In any kind of story, the character kind of has to go through it. You have to go through hard times so they can reveal who they are. It's one of those rules of Pixar. They talk about this a lot. You root for them. You root for them for trying. They have to try and they have to get kind of beaten up. Man, when you're watching anything, any movie or reading a book, and the characters just get the crap kicked out of them, and then they get up and they're just like, let's keep going. I'm going to keep going. It's like Captain America said, Captain America saying, I can do this all day. That's the stuff that you're like, hell yeah. So he goes off on this like bizarre tangent, trying to tie it into conflict within storytelling when he's originally talking about people's like spending habits and buying habits and how I guess the stories that you're telling are, that are pissing people off translates to comic sales. I think this is an absolutely failing strategy. I don't know. Uh, if he's actually learned the proper lessons, he seems to think that people are spending more money when they're getting pissed off at DC Comics and Marvel Comics and what all of the mainstream comics are selling. Uh, I, I think the opposite is true. I think we're seeing a decline in sales uh, when people are getting pissed off. Uh, John Del Rose at Fandom Pulse reports the comic industry is dying nearly every week. There's a new news story about a beloved comic shop closing down. Indeed, there is. I, I think he's pretty accurate there. It might not be once a week. It might be once a month or something like that. But we've had a lot of stories recently about comic shops closing down. And then even retailers warning about the state of the comic book industry. We had Bill Boyle uh, of Coliseum Comics. He wrote an op-ed published at ICV2 at the end of last year. He said, Marvel and DC, you blew it. Or maybe you just succeeded in your plan to kill off an American art form of which you've been the able stewards of for 80 years. And then he said, where did it go off the rails? It's not such a con uh, conundrum to anyone with two active brain cells and a list of back issues they need to complete their runs. But along the way, the immediate sale and false, bol bol false bolstering of numbers through variant covers, convoluted events, and incessant reboots left the considerations of the fans behind. Character swapping, gender bending, and changing sec sexual orientation of beloved characters fell flat with the Wednesday Warriors who supported the industry for decades. The crowd of new readers, the changes were meant to attract, didn't translate to a one-for-one -one swap, leaving a declining customer base. So that is one of the most successful retailers in Florida. I think he owns around eight or nine shops down there in the central Florida area. And he's saying that all of these things that uh, DC has done to piss people off, as uh, Joshua Williams says, has left a declining customer base. Even DC Studios CEO James Gunn has lamented the state of the comic book industry. He told Michael Rosenbaum last year, I started out, I wanted to write comic books when I was younger. If I was writing comic books today, I'd probably be, I'd probably be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. So the industry is definitely in decline. I think sales are in decline in general, especially at Marvel and DC. 
And Joshua Williams is saying that by pissing people off, you actually, uh, that translates to increased sales. Uh, so he's obviously be either being lied to by people at DC saying that uh, putting in these ridiculous stories that Phil Boyle mentions, the gender swapping, the, the pushing of the sexual uh, orientation, the normalization of that, the disrespect to the readers, the changing of the characters, all of that kind of thing, the, the derivative creations like Iron Heart and uh, those characters, uh, Miss Marvel, etc. That has led to a decline in sales, but Joshua Williamson is, is clearly being misinformed by people at DC saying that leads to a bolstering of sales. I think uh, either he, there, he's been lied to by DC or he's lying to Popverse in this, uh, this interview that he gave them because there's absolutely no way that pissing people off has actually led to an increase in sales. I think over time, it's led to a massive decline in sales. Marvel and DC are pretty much just made fun of now. Uh, and no one is actually taking a lot of what they're uh, <laughs> publishing seriously anymore because it's all just a joke. For the most part, it's meant to normalize degeneracy, disordered behaviors, and ultimately sin. And that's why people are indeed, I think, for the most part, rejecting a lot of this stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about what Joshua Williamson had to say here and, and his thoughts on DC Comics uh, creating storylines to piss people off, somehow translating to increased sales and profitability. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.